one day on my way to a business meeting in Richmond, these shiny spaceship-like looking things caught my eye at the side of the road. And I was like, what are those? And so I pulled over on my way back and it was an Airstream dealership. And I had been kind of looking at tiny homes online just in terms of thinking, well, if I downsize, should I stay in this area? Should I go somewhere else? And I walked into one of the Airstreams and I just felt like I could live here. I mean, this is all I really need. It's, it's enough. So I just prayed to God, whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. And just let me know. And it, through prayer and scripture and reading, and as I sort of researched Airstreams and living in them and just learned about a community of nomads on the road, there are about a million people, according to the RV um, Industry Association, who live full time in their RVs and travel around. People are very interested in the downsizing and living in an RV and sort of prayer life and trying to be open to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. So whatever touches people wherever they are, I figure is something that God might want me to do. So it's another way to use some of the skills that he has given me to bring people closer to him. What he's asked me to do is simply live among people and work among people who live full time and work full time on the road and um, just be their friend. Just get to know them and you know if I have the opportunity to pray with someone or to discuss matters of faith and it, it comes up very naturally in the course of being their friend um, that's really the kind of apostolate he wants me to have. I'm not I'm not preaching at people or even really preaching with words. It's more just by actions. I have the joy and the blessing of knowing that I'm exactly where God wants me. I'm doing exactly what he wants me to do. I have, through the blog and other things, some of the remote work I've done, I'm actually using every single skill that he's ever given me over the course of my life.